this is the status we're at. We have uh, a GitHub tutorial with no text. So I typed a little bit of code here, telling what the GitHub tutorial is all about. And in the meantime, I will we'll film it and show you guys what's important and how to format. So what I could do is say that it's actually one of my goals to be quick and easy and save it and then we'll go to here and what you should do is open and remember the dot slash git tab tab I'll don't write any comments just follow and then you refresh and you see what happens that's the only thing you should always try and see if it loads it takes some time sometimes well, so a quick and easy, as you can see, it's in bold. So the result of my code here, let's put it maybe here to the side. And this one, we don't need this one, but we want to upload everything and then the code. So this is two of these asterisks and you get a uh, bold text. You can do also an, an uh, underline but I don't think it's that's useful but it can work as well with this and then you get the same result quick and easy way um, you can go for italic skip a long and difficult way italic is then just one so it's better maybe to just learn one of them and there you go you see already that it's going to change that's because I'm working with Visual Studio Code. You won't see it in other editors, of course. Just depends what you're working with. With, and let's have a look. And let's keep switching between what we are writing and what we have. Voila, I'm going over some important codes. A long and difficult learning process. So that's been done. We have bold with italic. You can combine bold and italic, and you can also have strike through which i don't use a lot what we can do is um, make quotes that's quite interesting to make it stand out from all the rest and we type it like this sky skip along this will be or I put an enter between both of them this will be the comma quote and save it i will upload it and I will refresh it and see how that looks. This is now my quote. Skip a long and difficult learning process of working. I'll do this on a later date. And then what else we can we show? We can also what's also interesting if when there's something code, for instance, intention. And I have to look where that little icon is. LGR4, I think it's no, it's not the same. Depending on your ah, here it is. Depending on your keyboard, we should need a back tick. I think it's called like this one. And we save it. We upload it. That's also one that's quite nice show you what it ha what happens now here you see the intention is also great the intention is to have a backup or a way to share your and so on so that's an, a nice one a back tick um, links there is a link here and we saw it already here there is a link and as it's as you can see it just works but if you want to clean that up and you say no i rather have it in, in a word github or something or a tutorial and then go to a link you can do so by changing the code like this square brackets i think it's called it's in a way in a bracket and it's uh, like for instance tutorials tutorial that's enough and then end it open it with the normal brackets 
and save it and see what happens. Run it and yeah, I have to wait and again rerun it. Oops, sorry, write your commit command, he says. So enter, no comment. Reload. And there you have it, tutorial, and it will link to Atlassian. So that's cleaner, maybe more the thing you like. Then uh, lists, you can have lists as well. So we can have here, instead of doing like this, you can press like that or like that. What is going on? What will happen if you do it like this? We have bullets. What will happen if we press here something else? If we do this and then one dot space, two dot space, three dot space, oh yeah, four dot space, and then five dot space, and a lot of dots. Save, how would that show? That will show without colors, as you can see, no gray anymore. And you can make subdivisions and make a more like a dot something else and do it like that. Oops, my mistake. So you have to indent the lines with two spaces. That's what went wrong here. So what you have to do is enter two spaces, save, and then let's have a look again. Reload, come on. He does not want to do it. But I guess we'll have to do it this way. Yes. We can't change it to an A and or B. Which is okay. Which is okay. I'll show you. There we go. So we have here written one, and as you can see, it's it the end result is not one, but it's an I from a Roman numbering. So that's possible too. Let's get rid of this. And then what is else? What should we can we do as well? Maybe we can make ourselves um, we can say the following. We want to have a checklist. We can write stuff like this and then keep it empty, a space in between. And then uh, to do and another one like so and then we have to buy something I don't know and we save it in between of these ones I'm gonna put an X so you see the difference between both of them uh, here, reload, we resend to the internet, and then we're gonna reload this. And we have here to do and buy, which is not what I want. What does it need more? It needs this one in front of it, and it needs this in front of it. Voila. 
it's all little details that matter. The formatting will only be read if it's written exactly as you want it. And then you get these things here. So this has a mark and this doesn't have a mark. Maybe for some purpose like um, making elements and checking your list functions, checking it off. Like I've done this to do that, I have to do this and so on. So that's interesting. Um, what else? What interesting as well is making an, uh, some titles. I don't have any titles yet. So this can go for now. The rest can I can keep it. But if you're gonna press double, so GitHub tutorial is some font, eh? heading one, heading two, you know. So this is double uh, square, double, how do you say, hashtags. So if we test it here, and then three tests and then four tests and see what happens I save it and that's actually the code that we use the most to get some kind of difference between head title, subtitles and so on as you can see it gives you a good view when we are copy pasting codes we have code here and we want to share the code with people oops we want to share this control c and we're going to the read name and we're going to control v it all you have to do is take the text to a tab save it and let the machine do the rest. The machine being GitHub. Oops. Um, refresh is also a very interesting one. So you can make people, you can make it easy for people. Just copy paste it to their scripts. Hmm. Anything else? Um, what I use also a lot are pictures. So let's say we have a um, picture that we want to share one of the elements of the websites I like is images and you can put something online i'll probably have some kind of picture i can use like my last creation last drum so complete desktop and you want to share the people look how nice and um, put it on your github what I do is right mouse click copy image location and now you go to your readme you copy paste it and this is the code you're gonna need and I'm just get taking a break here for a moment okay let's continue I just went uh, to copy this kind of code so exclamation mark and then brackets screenshots brackets and in between normal brackets you put this and then the code gets some color which is fine maybe not in your editor and then you're going to put it online again if it's online then we are going to change to this one no image yet reload it and here you see your image so when you press the image you can go into detail you're on git uber user content and so on so and even more you can check out what's inside here and really look in, into the details of the picture so that's quite nice if you want to share something visual with your users that's an interesting interesting uh, way to make it interesting and more appealing if you visit your github another move another thing is uh, putting youtube inside i'm gonna copy paste some call some core a blue light code again and close what we can do also is a youtube reference and i copy paste some code from my one of my githubs from saturday you see this code has a link 
it starts it stops here and starts there okay target this new tab but that unfortunately it doesn't work yet the reference is where on youtube is there is a list of movies here it's just a link and on image style there's an image that i put on image again and give me the maximum with 100 percent so how does that look what does this code do how will it be nice or not all questions have a look we just refresh it make it a bit bigger so now we have this play me tutorial so this is a picture and um, we have to double click it or click it just enough and you'll see it will not open a new tab unfortunately but then again you are on youtube and you can share your information there so that's okay we have to live with that and um, those are basically the things I use um, if I do find others I will put them online I'll put also an, uh, another wiki or another site online where you can have your cheat sheets so the markdown like they say you can figure out other codes as well but this is for me enough to work with and um, it's a start there are other codes as well